How's it going, fellow Samoros? And this is another episode of Borderlands 3 Monkey Side of the Handsome Jackpot. And in today's episode, Timothy just cannot wait to talk to me, apparently. Just keep reminding me. Uh, this is Moxie's job. I'll let her do the talking. By the way, I really like how they go over the plan because it goes into this like. There we go. Right. Step it goes one. into this like. Uh, Get, get how you have to Great. step on complete. <laughs> go. It's like a montage go, 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 go. of how you, you Moving know, on. gather get in do all the plans. We gotta take down those depth turrets first. But the cool part about it is that, that we need to get into the casino core. That means we need a blueprint. It's that while you do this, it's kind of like you're in the montage yourself. It's pretty cool. I've called in a favor with him. He will be awaiting the vault hunter's arrival. Talk to Trixie oh, Nick. Stuffy ass mayor called about? You're lucky. I owed him big time for protecting my nephew after Pretty Boy put a price on his head. Poor kid was up to his gills in brunch debt. Yeah, little Alec just couldn't get enough of them eggs. And hookers. Anyway, come on in. Eggs and hookers. Sounds like my kind of guy. Now look, this is the only complete blueprint outside of the tower. Sure and thing, gonna you're gonna kill me. Here. A My life. Pretty boy. <laughs> you just got Trixie Nick. Now I'm gonna feed your sorry ass to my pet ratchets. It's time to drop some digits off my deck. Damn it! I he has to stand on the platform. He has to keep the high ground. By the way, Witcher Three. No, wait, it was Witcher Three. Witcher the, the series, the Netflix series came out to some pretty overwhelming positive reviews. Almost makes me wish I bought Netflix. I don't really feel like that. I'm probably Step gonna three, try it somewhere privately. See, it's a really cool thing that you're in the montage yourself. Right now where we need to be. If the turrets were the tip of the asshole, this thing is... And the music plays too. Finkter. I'm gonna make this asshole thing work. Of course you will, Timothy. The security door is made of solid titanium, but I can burn through it. To do that, I require a very rare substance known as Compound 24. The Vault Hunter will procure it. Yeah, I will. I'll do anything. Anything for Amber, but not for anyone else. Actually, no, Timothy. Anything for Timothy, too. Watch a bomb, but I put it this. Everything's on fire in her metaphors. Thank god I didn't begin doing this last episode because I would just unnecessarily make the last episode also one hour long like the two episodes ago. Which I actually begun recording this whole series this whole time. At the beginning of uh, episode four. And for this whole time I've been just sitting here recording. So this is over two hours I'm already sitting recording, so I don't know. When I began recording, it was still bright outside, and now it's dark. Oh crap, why did I do that? There's a bottle up, up there, you gotta get to it. <laughs> statue of Skag? Why would you put a statue of a Skag? There we go, found it. I feel like Torg is a good enough character to get him some DLC. Because Timothy was pretty much just how to bring back Jack. Well, we can't bring back Jack. Instead, we'll just bring back Timothy, because he's pretty much Jack. Just with a slightly different personality, but still. Why was Torg show up? Oh, because I breached the security, that's why it showed up. All of a sudden makes sense to just don't kill robots and I'll take care of the puzzle. Anything could be solved with guns in this universe. Where's the door? I wanna I wanna get out. Oh, 
kill the robots, I gotta kill something. Like I can actually increase the amount of time my robots will stay with me because if I just happen to kill a bunch of enemies in a row, I can basically reset the timer. It's pretty awesome. Once you've overloaded the force field, you should be able to shoot that sucker out. Of course, when I first did it, I just had to go for like the most wrong order possible to find out the right one. Every time you mess up, you gotta start from the beginning and shit. Like that. I don't understand the point of putting guns in like shells when they're all white rarity. Who, who the fuck cares for a white rarity gun? They're literally just white trash. At least that's what I call them. But there's a problem. We need to get into the core to shut off the power to the so that we can burn through the emergency doors. So we're gonna have to go through a one-of-a-kind security scanner that only opens for hand so, so, step four is... Asshole. Timothy can pass as Jack, but we'll need one of Jack's hand-tailored suits. And what well, Jack's suit uh, apparently is hand-tailored. But I always felt like Jack's suit just looks really shitty. Like he, I found just, he just simply doesn't there care how he no looks. display of materialism than the excesses. Hey, who the hell are you? This is our turf. <laughs> yeah. We're the best looking bandits on this whole damn station. So you better back up or else you'll face the wrath of the people. Oh, St. Lawrence. Yeah, oh, fuck you, St. Lawrence. That's a so weird name. Is that what we agreed on? Whatever. We'll sort it out after so, we kill Mayor, you. apparently, one of the crew challenges is for killing rare enemies for Mayor. One of the crew challenges. What did I got out of him? Another class mod, just like I needed. I needed a precious class mod, I got a... No. I do have that hat, I'm gonna change it later. There's a side quest here. For some lady who's really hungry. Actually, she's not hungry, she just wants to eat something different other than caviar. Seven goddamn years. All I've had to eat is goddamn caviar. God damn it! Please, I'm begging you. I need to eat something that isn't salty or fishy. I just want a goddamn peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Can you help me out? Yeah, what a peanut butter sandwich. PBJ's the world. Perfect ratio of PB to J. You know? God damn, I'm looking forward to this. I never ate a peanut butter sandwich. I usually just go with jelly or peanut butter. Actually, I only put jelly in like pancakes. Peanut butter, I do. I usually just end up eating it out of a jar or a spoon. I just like it so much. I really like peanuts, even when it's not peanut butter. I just like eating like peanuts, like normal peanuts. And me and my clone just shooting those explosive corrosion weapons. Insane. Okay, well, here we go. Raspberry jam. I really like peach jam. I recently, when I was, went to buy some jam just to put on pancakes again. I I, I picked peach flavor instead of like strawberry. I usually just go for strawberry, but then I feel like, you know what? I'm always going with strawberry. Let's go for peach, and it was really good. I'm just gonna give you the ingredients. Just shove him through this little window. Maybe, you know, instead of tasking me with giving him a P and PBG, fucking PBG sandwich, that's right. I could just simply get you the door open. Oh my or not. This, this is the best thing I've ever eaten in my entire goddamn life! Thank you so much! She's oh, she a fucking old guy. What she eats. But I need more! I need the taste of the most delectable fruit in the universe! Goddamn durian! I love those stinky little guys! 
Wait, wait. Durian, Durian. ice cream. Yes. There was a place that sold it in the food court. See if there's any left. My mom used to reward me for good grades by taking me out for durian ice cream. It's a fond memory. And she got on the right childhood, I guess. Her mom took her out for many things. Gave her PPG sandwiches. Rewarded for, for good grades. I just always get scolded for bad grades, but when I get the good ones, no one ever fucking cares. To the point where I just stop caring about it too. Anyway, what's this? That was a recording. I did notice this ice cream before, but I just thought it was some weird model. Clone's the best thing in the world. Now that he actually recharges his health, the more I kill people. That would be cool if you could have like two same skills set up. So you could like spawn two drones or something. Oh yes! How did yes! it fit through? So sweet and so stinky! Oh. Sure it does sounds like she's enjoying it too much. Thought you were gonna eat it, not marry it. There's one more thing I need you to find for me. The first head Okay, to I guess even the character noticed that she's goddamn fat acting a little weird. Always coming by to talk to me about living in a goddamn shit closet. Well, he sounds fat anyway. So first, I want you to teach him a lesson by killing him. You have no idea how much hatred I have for this goddamn jackass. Fat Jackass, that's his name. He's hanging out at the J spot. But it seems like what it's supposed to be intended to be called a Jack spot. You know, like a Jack spot, but it's a spot and not. No, no. Oh no, there's so many. Top enemies. Crap. Raging VIP tourist. That was. Asshole. Jack or whatever his name was. My mom used to prepare for me as a kid. I need you to pick up the fat bastard's spleen and bring it back to me. Okay. Sorry. Did you just say his spleen? Okay. Come on, don't be such a prude about this. It's perfectly natural. Humans have been eating each other since the dawn of time, probably. I mean, haven't you ever been curious? Maybe a little no. bit. I don't know. Trust me. Damn. Bring it to me already, will you? He doesn't need it anymore. And I'm Apparently somewhere in Japan there's like a restaurant where you meat. do get to like legally eat some human meat. Oh, I thought I read about really it from people experience with this. With it, it. I don't know, it tastes God, just damn, doesn't great. taste good. Thanks for your help, kind stranger. It's so pretty weird to have a legal fucking cannibal. Cannibalism, just like legally. Also, there's uh, an explosive bottle around here. Not a bottle, but the the thing for thing for uh, Amber which, that she wants me to take care of. You guys better not shoot me down this way. Land the Damn floor. Hey, I was supposed to kill some brothers. I forgot about it. Handsome jacket. I can't imagine why he would make it a blood first. I got a jacket. So this is the guy who made handsome jacks. Ah, Jesus Christ, stop pushing me around, you fucking dumbass. His underwear, there we go. Plan? We did it? I think we did it. 
Look, a short episode for a change. Unless I got a side quest and maybe I'll go and do it. Uh, lucky accuracy? I think accuracy is better. Player skin. Brr. Burning bright, okay. So, now that we've talked ourselves into a tizzy, it's time to do the damn thing. And once I'm well, you guys rearranged. I'm gonna need help awesome. Open for I just noticed my gun has an animation going on on it. It's awesome. If you're so May I continue to set things on fire? I certainly hope so. Then it would be my pleasure. Mr. Mayor, I like how he shifts the zippo and lighter in her finger. Trash Lantis will retain its autonomy under your new management. Trash Lantis ain't my kind of dirt, but I don't judge. I'll deactivate the compactor so that your people can continue living without the excess of capitalist consumption, let alone basic hygiene. You got anything for I don't know, he looks pretty clean. The casino's seen better days. I'll need some help fixing up the place. How's head of reconstruction and maintenance sound? I'll get those loaders humming along for you, miss. Believe in Freddy. And you, Timothy? What do you want? Well, you know, you and I could... You know, just get me the hell out of this place. Hmm. That's all you want. I can arrange a ship to take you as far away as you can dream. Yeah. It would be yeah, cool if yeah. after we finished the DLC, yeah, Timothy would, like, hang out all in right, Sanctuary. I think he just hangs out for? here. Let's take the I think that's where he just stays. Can I? I have some side quests. It's tower time! Uh, my tea's gonna be our eyes and ears. <clears throat> eyes, ears, and whatever else puts this whole place under new management. Mine. We're All gonna right, do sugar. this. Let's get you uh, this we're gonna do. And shut down those turrets. Based on the blueprints, it looks like you need to head towards the subway. There's a high security wing in that area. It'll be tough to break through. We're gonna do one more side quest for today's episode, because the next side quest takes place in a completely new area, and also the other area we have to go in is also in a completely different place. So this is what we're gonna do next episode. I'm gonna probably go back to sanctuary a little bit, rearrange some stuff. I just rearrange my guns. I have some legendary guns I would like to still use. I could change them up a bit, you know, just to, sh just to have like variety in my gameplay looks. Instead of just like sticking to one legendary, how I do with Black. I just use the companion and the Garcia shotgun. Open your bloody eyes! Don't forget to spend! Okay, but we can do this because it takes place in the market district, and this is a uh, kind of like a fight club thing. Well, speaking of fight club. Apparently Fight Club is getting a reboot, from what I heard. I don't know does Fight Club need a reboot, I feel like Fight Club is kind of a timeless Time movie. You don't have. It will never get old, it will always be relevant, and... Does it need a reboot? Like, with the amount of, like... Sayonara, baby. New IPs, compared to the stuff that just gets rebooted or gets sequels non-stop. I feel like, okay, sequels are sometimes cool continue the story of your beloved franchise or something, unlike the Star Wars sequel. That's kind of shit. But, um... I don't know, like, for example, Godfather 1 is like the best one, and then all the sequels are kind of getting worse and worse. Well, this is my opinion, some people like the sequels to Godfather, but I, I don't really do. Wait, is this where it's... I could have ported this. Oh no, I actually could have gone around it. Stanley came back. I bet I got a corrosion weapon. Last time I fought him, I think I had an ice weapon. It was a clean shot. Yeah, it was a clean shot. Tell the doorman you're there for the bridge turn. Okay. What do you want? Hey, big fella! Just here for the bridge tournament. I love me some bridge. All right, you're cool. Come on in. Bridge? I thought at first I thought that they meant like a bridge, you know, connecting two places. But I just realized bridge is a fucking bridge. is also like a card game, I think. 
I feel like solid there. Good. Just place a bet using one of the two buttons. You got this, Chief. I do got this. Chief? Chief. Why he called me a chief? So, at first I thought maybe this is all there is to this quest, just two robots fighting and you got a bet on one of them. Uh, they're the same. I bet it on this one, so this one better win. Seems like he's winning. This one fell over and stuff. I, did I won? No. It fell over. Oh, I lost. I I lost that one. Can I actually win this? Because last time I also I bet on the red ones exclusively, and I lost every time. Okay, let me. I don't know. Change it. Maybe I'm actually supposed to lose every time. Maybe it's just set. Like this, this robot I bet it on. Okay, it's a midget. Are you kidding me? If my robot loses to a midget, I'm gonna be mad. Oh, so it's not just. Looks like you're getting the hang of it. So it's not cheating, okay. I actually won. Well, with a small robot like that, I was actually gonna be pissed off if he lose. If he okay, lost. Now here's the real kicker. We're gonna rig a match, and you are gonna sign up as a fighter. Can I do that? A whole lot of losers between you and the big fight. Well, I'm not a robot. An easy way to speed things up. But it's like it made sense to see the robot. And don't feel too bad. These are people willing to fight to the death. So we're just gonna give them what's coming to them anyway. Uh, oh, I gotta go kill a bunch of people now. Shit. Also, the first time I went here, I accidentally opened the toilet. And then the button would, like, not work. For some reason. And just pissed me off, and I had to be like very, very precise about how I press the button. <laughs> this time it didn't seem to be the case. I have to like go back to some kind of like other end of the goddamn world. Let me see where I have to go. I gotta leave the district. No, they're in the main area. Okay, just gotta go back there. <laughs> they're in the main portion of the area. That's okay. Son of a bitch! The game was rigged. <laughs> the game was rigged from the start. Tell you the truth. Are you the ah. Now what? I would love to do a New Vegas Let's Play. I actually never finished New Vegas because I remember that when I first played it. When you get to this point, we're Mr. House, and I think you gotta start working for Yes Men. I just, I just never understood what the fuck am I supposed to do now? Like every time I killed Mr. House, I just reloaded the save file because I feel like I, I kind of want to work with Mr. House. How do I do this? I never got to the Battle of Hoover Dam. I finished all the DLCs with the base game. I just never did. Sugar tits. Good job. How's that pudding coming along? Wait, wait, this guy's over here. It's the first guy, he's just kind of hanging out here. Machine Gun Mikey. It's a great fucking name. Why they call you that? Oh, I don't know. Care to machine guns. Nice one brings me back. Remember that misunderstanding? See, I used to be a fighter. Found out the guy I was up against was cheating. So I thought, I should too. What's the next fighter? Show yourself. Yeah, I, I teleported. Just to get my clone all the way there, but look, he pulled it off. I didn't even look at that guy, he died from my clones. Oh now who is this gorgeous Roger? She looks gorgeous. I'm 
remember that quest line to, with how Ellie admits that she was apparently in love with some midget? His name was also Tony something. Maybe Tony? Third round, okay. We clear? Go down in the third round. If you don't go down in the third round, which I did because I actually meant to do it, but I just kinda messed up. You actually you just simply kill the guy and get all the loot, all the money for yourself. And I believe it's not worth dying because not only you have to then pay for you to respawn. You get like only 50% of the reward you would normally get. So in my opinion, it's way worth just killing everyone. Just like in real life. What's up with music, Jesus Christ? I don't know how long I've been sitting here for. Definitely way too long. Bye bye now, dum dum. Does my clone disappears when I get into this? I think he does. Yeah, I think he does. No way, he's keep shooting him. Let's look at like hit markers showing up on the screen. Now arriving at the market district. Chumps. Does the voice actor for Jack does any f who, who else he does? Up my he was excited to play Jack once more. It's actually like he can come back. That's why I was saying when I first thought when people were saying that Jack would come back. I was saying that yeah, Jack could come back, but not as Jack. Timothy Lawrence could come back. He's basically voiced by the same person. Because you know, the doppelganger of Jack. Would also make perfect sense for him to come back and would it be like oh you're just making Jack come back again some kind of fan service I fucking guarantee you in the next game it's gonna be a joke that Zane actually just has this many middle names I love the sound of headshots in this game, it just sounds like squishing on walnuts. It's like, that's how it sounds. Go on, kill some robots. Just slow down because I can't comprehend how fast I'm going. 319 Iridium, that's a lot. I like how when, uh, the shop when you buy like emotes. No, when you buy like skins for guns and echoes. I actually bought every echo skin in the store. They're shared between all the characters. Don't you get cold feet? Plot of fighters come in here with golden dreams. But here's the thing. Everyone's cheating all the time. Can't win if you don't cheat. Trust me. And why would I cheat? I'm just this good, I'm gonna win. Don't you forget, Chief. Without cheating. I love magic. There's a loader somewhere in the game that's actually immune to uh, corrosion. I remember now. It's like a mission where you kill him. I think it's the next slide mission you get. P loader. What the hell are those? Pit loaders? Death comes for us all! Oh, by the way, when I first played it, one of the enemies actually got stuck in this dark void. And it's not like they got stuck here. They got stuck somewhere over there. But thankfully my my rack attack skill actually targeted them. Can you at least show up here? It's gonna, no, wait, he actually is showed up, okay. Right 
right there. Four thousand dollars. So wouldn't you agree forty-four thousand dollars is way more worth it than getting like twenty-two and also paying for your recovery? I'd say it's way more worth it. Let's just teleport to Timothy's place. And now I'm gonna end the episode there. Casa de Timothy. We're gonna accept the next side quest, which takes place in a new location. And we're gonna go to that new location next episode. Thankfully, fucking finally managed to finish this goddamn series for today. So, see you fellas in the next episode. Bye.